Lonely. Isolated. Patchy. Ugly. Distasteful. Angry. Defeated. Baldy. Worthless. Afraid. And struggling. Can't. Haven't. Want. I lived quite an innocent childhood and then secondary school brought a lot of pressure and bullying and um, kind of isolation around who I thought I was and what I should be. just started nursery and I noticed the other children's reactions to me, uh, reactions to my, to my burn and they'd stare and point to it and, and, ask, and ask questions. I used to hate the fact that my vitiligo was so seeable, like everyone could see it. I used to hate that it was so out there. There's people that walk past me on a day-to-day -day basis. They stare and then they walk past me and carry on staring and I just think, what's the point? It just affected everything that I did and how I, how I just felt about myself and what I could achieve in life. Sometimes it will make me feel like I'm not worth of anything because of the look that people give me, the comment that people will make. It got to the point when I was in my, my late teens, about 17 years old, that I actually thought maybe I can't go on with life anymore. Sorry. I don't want anybody else to feel like I did as a teenager. I don't want anybody else to feel like they haven't got somebody that they can reach out to. Like being different doesn't kind of make them any less. I think it's good that people see this because then they will understand how effective it can be, you know. I used to bottle everything up and it just made me feel you know, more sad and more sad. And then it's when I started speaking to my friends and family about it, that's when I really felt like a weight had been lifted. So social media is the place that I first opened up about my scar. And I explained how it made me feel and how I think they should be approached. I don't think people should act any differently around people with visible differences. Just because somebody looks different, it doesn't make them any different as a person. There are very few people in this world who look the same anyway. When you're accepting of it, it doesn't hit your heart as much anymore. It doesn't hit your, 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 your mental stability around it. There's, no, there's nothing that puts you down. I'm a normal person and if people spoke to me, they'd realise that instead of just judging the bottom of its cover, I don't think it's right. Even though they're complete strangers, I do kind of hope that if we ever had that chance to have that encounter, that they're going to want to like me, they're going to want to um, get to know me. I wish people knew that um, how caring and kind and calm I am, and, um, and I guess the fact that I've got an amazing family and I love people. I describe myself as happy, cheerful, if anyone's upset, you know, I'll go and help them in a way and I just think that me doing these type of things, it just makes people more aware. I wish that more people, um, strangers especially, would see me as an approachable person that they can come over and speak to and have a good conversation with. I can be a bubbly person um, with a love for everybody. First and foremost, I'm a mum, I'm a wife, I'm somebody who volunteers with a couple of charities, I'm somebody who works for an insurance business and those things and my friends and family are the things that are important to me. Don't let your vitiligo define your insecurities, let it define your confidence and that weight on your shoulders will completely disappear and if it doesn't, let me know. <laughs> People like me are there and understand and trying to make it better for you and other people. Oh, and I love to give people a hug because when someone gives me a hug, it makes me feel happy. So in the same way, I like to give them a hug because I like to make them happy. So yeah, I love a good hug. If you're one of these people, give me a hug. <laughs>
uh, such as verbal abuse or physical abuse or anything like that. You can actually report that as a hate crime. You don't need to stand by and be a victim of that. You can get help for it and support.